biggest question that emerges as we get into 2018 is the role of the United States. Is this whole issue of the U.S. leadership that's been fundamental around the world, the questioning, the changes that are starting to emerge, not just in one particular administration, but something that's been long-standing adjustment that's taking place, and how the U.S. positions itself in 2018 will be then how other countries then position themselves around the United States, whether they fill in gaps, whether they step into new areas. I think that's the, the most interesting challenge that we will look out for in the next year. Well, I mean, among the global challenges, there are many we need to address as a collective. Uh, trade is certainly one of them. I say in these times, it's probably the most important one. Um, uh, say if our if our trade alliance and our our partnership in the area of trade were to fail or fall apart, that would have very, um, let's say, rippling effects on, on uh, which compound other global crises or problems we might be have. So, so trade is key, and and we should not forget that trade is a major contributor to peace, and uh, that is also a little bit neglected in the current discussion. A lot of people talking about the negative impact of trade. Um, I think we should we should really remind ourselves of, of, of that relationship. And another thing, I think that's part of the global discussion in this country is that we should not forget that the trade has also uh, benefited many, but not all. Some people have been left behind, so we need to find solutions. I would say personally the refugee crisis. There are 62, 63 million people adrift. Um, they are adrift because of problems in their own country, war, famine, uh, all kinds of things that are happening to them. They are looking for a new uh, place. This is a real global problem. It's not a regional problem. They are uh, basically pushing us to make a choice. I think they are, at, um, they are contributing to populism uh, in the world because people want to fence off their uh, borders. They are contributing to, especially I come from the Netherlands, for a destabilizing effect uh, on Europe. So I would say for the coming years, uh, uh, the refugees is a is a real, real problem. As far as we are concerned in the Africa region, particularly in West Africa, the end of uh, ISIS activities in Syria in the Middle East and its movement towards Africa, particularly in the Sahel region, is very worrisome for us. Generally speaking, one of the biggest concerns is uh, probably the respect of the international law. Most of the events in the world uh, which occur in the crisis or wars um, uh, are, you know, just the consequence of the fact that the international law is not respected. Something very paradoxical is happening in our part of the world. At a time when we are increasingly more and more interdependent, there is somehow a tendency in our own public opinions, in our own domestic audiences, to, to look inwards. And uh, unfortunately, uh, to a very large extent, foreign policy is being viewed as an altruistic uh, project. I think all of us, especially diplomats, but also, also elected leaders, uh, need to do much more to explain to their own uh, audiences why working together is important for all of us.